My name is Connie, and I lost my son, Clay. Okay. And um, I'm sure he's older than two, but I'm just saying, if you ask me to bring through a child, I prefer that they're above the age of two. I'm not too demanding, but, you know, um, they had to have lived a little bit of life for me to have something to tell you, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the best I can with him because he's kind of iffy on what he thinks of me. And so <laughs> I end up, when that's the case, I do this sort of dance with them where I'm like, if you want to talk to them, you have to go through me, you know? Um, okay. He doesn't want to talk about how he died, and that's interesting because usually they'll kind of tell me immediately how they felt when they died, and he's just doesn't want to go there, so I'm letting him not go there right now. He did say he had the best parents. He kept talking about a camera. Did he like to take pictures, or did he have a camera when he was younger? He kept talking about the camera. Yeah, he liked to take pictures. Okay. Um, he would like for you to like put those pictures together and look through them so you can see that he had a good life and that he enjoyed it, and you always... Um, let him do whatever he needed to express himself, and he appreciated that about you, okay? You let him be himself. He says because he could be quirky, but he liked that about him, too. He's very quirky. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He keeps talking about being 11 years old. Um, was he happy when he was 11? Was that a time when he was still, like, kind of your buddy or spending time with you and his dad? I would say yes. Okay, so if you take out pictures of him around the age of 11, that's the age he reverted to. He enjoys being your son. He enjoys being a child. He likes to be taken care of. Okay? Does that make sense to you? It's okay. You can communicate with yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. But he does keep talking about a graduation picture. Did he graduate from high school? Did he get to be that old? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, so he says that was like a proud moment then, so his graduation picture would be really important to you, I would imagine. Yeah, I know the picture. Let's, you know the picture, mm -hmm. okay. Again, he's showing you how he had a good life, okay? He likes computers a lot. <laughs> um, and he says, yeah, he built computers. Okay. He's, he says his picture's all over computers right now. So, like, he's just not just a screensaver, but he's also memorialized on a computer. So somebody's put something on the screen for him. Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, memoryof.com. Okay, excellent. So he's there when, they were making, when you were making it and putting it together. So he saw that. And that's so him. So he loves that. Okay? Yeah. Okay. He keeps talking about two father figures for him. Was there two that he loved or two? Yeah. Yes? Okay. He says he still loves both of them, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. And he keeps wanting to talk about your dad. Um, has your dad passed? Yes. Okay. They're together then. He thought you needed to know that your dad's okay and that he keeps an eye on him. Okay, and he's laughing. He's like, "No, your dad doesn't keep an eye on me. I keep an eye on him." He's like, "He's a handful." <laughs> That's great. He shows himself like by the lake or by the water, like really liking water, like it being very comforting to him. Did he like to go? S is, did you take vacations that would be in an area like that when he was younger? He keeps talking about going to the water. Yeah, we had a cabin on a lake. Okay. That's his version of heaven. Do you understand how happy you made this boy with his life, okay? He doesn't think you understand that, so he's trying to drive it home to you. You made him very happy. You're a great mom. Do you have a question for him? Anything you wanted to know? I don't think so. Okay, let me just see what he's got here. Do I have a question? He's, <laughs> he's not quite done, so I just, just in, case, in case you had a question. He likes to be outdoors. He likes his tree. He keeps talking about his tree. I don't know if somebody planted a tree for him or if there's just a tree that he really enjoyed, like, sitting under, but he keeps referencing his tree. I planted a tree for him. Okay. 
He loves it. Great idea, he says. And it's good for the environment. So he's like, that's great. <laughs> but if you ever want to visualize your son, he sits under that tree and takes in the sunshine or the drizzle, and he just loves being outside, OK? OK. Mm. And he really likes cars. He likes to ride with you in your car, although he says you listen to totally different things than he would have listened to. <laughs> so he's like, just from time to time, play something for, for him. And so he says, you know he's in the car with you when you're driving. Like, you will see him in your mind or feel that he's in the car with you. He keeps referencing being there with you. Do you understand that? I, I have an only to focus on that. You what? I, I haven't noticed that. OK. He keeps showing you in the car, and it's you and him, and him riding with you. So that's the only time that your mind seems to be kind of clear where he can get through to you. So think about it the next time you're driving, because he's pretty adamant that that's a time that he's interacting with you. Like memories of him would pop into your head, or images of him, or you'd just be thinking about him. It's because he's next to you. That's okay. how he communicates with you. <laughs> um, he says it's his job to take care of all the family mutts, and that's what he's calling them. So <laughs> any of the dogs in the family that pass, like he gets to take care of. He said they're an interesting group. So it feels like there are maybe some unusual uh, rescues or something of dogs. Are there family members that like to take in dogs or that prefer dogs? Cause There's keeps... a lot of dogs. OK. Yeah. Then you understand. Yeah. <laughs> OK. And he keeps, what's, what's your husband's name? Paul. Paul. He says, thanks for taking care of her, OK? <laughs> um, he says, you gave him somebody to look up to. And he's sorry if he didn't tell you that enough, OK? He says he worries about your heart. <laughs> he says, you're so stressed or internalizing, that he worries about you having a heart attack. So be really careful, OK? Make sure you're going to the doctor and keeping your blood pressure in check. That's just something he worries about, OK? He says, because there's no room over there for you now. He's like, you need to be here, OK? <laughs> yeah, he needs to be here. What's that? He needs to be here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and he says, you two need a vacation. He said, a cruise would be nice. <laughs> we were talking about that yesterday. <laughs> So go, and he'll go with you, OK? <laughs> um, he thinks Paul may be one of the smartest guys he knows and that he knows a little about everything. And he really respects that. So he's just showing what you are to him in that sense. And he also says he couldn't be saved. And he wants you to know that nothing could have saved him and that that's OK. But he doesn't want any feelings of guilt, like you want to change places with him or trade places with him. He's like, it was his turn, OK? OK. He worries about you uh, not sleeping. He says you don't sleep right, like your mind's always running. Um, he tries to come through to you when you sleep both of you, actually. So he's saying you need to find a way to sleep in a healthy way so that he can come through to you. OK? OK. OK. And he keeps talking about his hair and like a lock of his hair. Did you keep some of his hair? Or he keeps referencing his hair. I have, yeah, I do. OK. He says it carries his energy. He's like, only mothers do that. He's like, it's kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> he says, but it's because you love us. We get it. He's trying to actually hand you, and not to be cliche, but a single red rose. He's trying to give roses back to you, like very Mother's Day-ish feeling to it. Like on Mother's Day, he's with you, and he wants you to visualize him giving you that red rose every Mother's Day, because you made him really happy, OK? And um, he says you were the kind of mom that would do his laundry and do anything he wanted. Um, and he just felt like your baby boy, even when he was older. So he says, thank you, OK? And then to Paul, he says, thanks for always being there. 
and he hopes he didn't disappoint either of you. I don't know why that's important to him, but he says he's sorry, and he hopes he didn't disappoint either of you. Okay. He loves you both. I'm going to break my connection with him, and I'm going to send him with you. And Paul, he keeps talking about your mom, so I don't know if your mom's passed, but he keeps referencing the mother figure that you love as being around him. So did your mom pass? Okay. He just didn't want you to worry about her. Okay? Okay. Can we show them some Thank support? Thank you. You're welcome.